Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're gonna be cleaning up the trails with the flail mower, and we're gonna tighten up the belts on the flail mower after a little mishap. Check it out. trail maintenance because all the brush just starts growing pretty high and we got a lot of ticks and they like to hang out on that brush and jump on you anytime they can and over the year periodically you have to go back and re-mow it because as soon as there's an open space the woods just want to grow right back in and cover it all up it's all about the sun <laughs> thinking I should have brought my bucket and you're right but sometimes you got to do what you got to do come back for that later. Here's a good branch to show you how the flail mower works on this kind of stuff.
got the skids on the flail mower set to its lowest point and now that we got the top link on here I can adjust it forward or back and adjust the height with the top link. So on the fly this is a great setup in my opinion. Whoops, that's not something you want to hear. I couldn't show you fast enough, there was smoke coming out of the cover. I thought I had a branch stuck in there, but I might have just been too close to the ground on that stump. Note to self, it's not a stump grinder. I think I got a, ran over a chunk of wood and it got stuck in there or I had it too low to the ground. So you might as well take a look and see how bad the damage is. Oh, the belt's right there on the side. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Maybe I lucked out. Boy, it was smoking pretty good. That looks pretty flat. Yeah, I think it. I think I lucked out. I wonder where it, where it got hooked up. Because man, it was smoking in here pretty good. You know, since we're in here. I'm thinking I might tighten these up. So we're gonna tighten up the belts because I've already, it's already slipped on me. So I thought I ruined them, but they're still good. So we're gonna tighten them up. And we just loosen these up. There's two bolts on each side. And so you can see how it's slotted. So there's a nut here and I'm gonna use my special wrenches. And then you just loosen these up. You don't have to loosen them all the way, just enough to where they're moving. Yeah, so there's some free movement there. Then you come up underneath the shaft and then we got a locking nut that I have already loosened. Back that off a little bit. And we're gonna spin this counterclockwise I can get it in there and hold and touch the belt at the same time as you spin it counterclockwise. As you're doing this counterclockwise, it's pushing up on the bottom of the shaft, which is moving the whole hub tighter. So it's really simple. It only takes five minutes. You could probably do it faster, but I like playing around with the belts, I guess. You don't want them too tight. You just want them a little bit more snug than they were. And then you just tighten this down and then tighten up these two bolts again and you're ready to roll. While you're tightening up the belts, rotate it a few times because I noticed it was getting tighter on one side and loose on the other. So if you rotate it, making sure your fingers don't go up in here so you don't get pinched. Rotate so that the belts have the even, even pressure on both sides. And I think, I think right now they're good and tight. So I'm not gonna, you wanna have some play in them, but not too much.
I go again. I forgot my chainsaw and my bucket. This is just the first step because we got to come back and cut all the overhanging branches so they don't hit you in the face when you're riding ATVs. Ideally, you want to trim the branches first so that you can mulch it up when you come through with the flail mower, but the grass is way too high and those ticks, they just, they were relentless. I know it looks uncomfortable in the video because we got jumpsuits on and we got uh, bug netting over our hats to keep the gnats out of our eyes. Seems like every bug in Wisconsin just wants to eat you alive. Well. Almost lost the tire. You see where the branch pushed in here. Almost popped the bead. And now I'm wedged. Oh. Excuse my language. Yeah, I'm going to have to cut that away. It's getting pretty thick. Wow, didn't get any of that. <laughs> I couldn't see the tree under the brush. Now I'm kind of leaning pretty good. I think I'm going to call it and turn around there and head back before I get into more trouble. Yep, that's a fanny pack. Who's watching? We're in the woods. I'm gonna go around that pine tree now. I chickened out. It was it was leaning pretty good, so I chickened out and back just backed it out of there. Well, there goes nothing. I'll be able to go around this pine tree with ATVs. And that'll be the back of the trail. I'll finish that off another day. It's getting hot out here. Here you can see how I'm using that top link to adjust the height. This was a leftover pile of brush, and it looked like it was easy to chop up, so I was going for it. Uh, as you tip it forward, it gets closer to the ground, because I got the skids lifted all the way up, like I said at the beginning.
it's time consuming, but you got to give that flail mower enough time to process the wood before you move on. In grassy material, you can actually move pretty fast. I don't know if you can hear that, but when I lift up the flail mower and I have that top link set at a different position, uh, the U-joints start making noises, so watch your angle when you lift up. I was trying to get that stump, but it was too high. videos are pretty boring because all you're doing is sitting on the tractor and just letting it do the work but I'm trying to show you everything I can uh, so if you decide to go this route with this same tractor and the same flail mower you kind of have an idea of what it can do I know this is just a tractor channel but I'd like to share some thoughts that I had uh, right now things are pretty crazy out in the world and things are pretty expensive believe me I know we're building this pole barn right in the middle of it and all I can think of is when life throws eggs at you make scrambled eggs I think that's the saying or maybe it's lemons something like that thanks for hanging out and checking out the video and don't forget keep it on the sunny side mm -hmm.